today we're going to be talking about Kuelli new machine, the K1C. Let's go. You will see the screen, you see me. So let's talk about it. This is Kuelli new machine, the K1C 3D printer. The K1C, it's a new printer from Creality. It's in line with the K1 Max and the K1. The pre-sale for the K1C will begin at 6 p.m. on January 24th PST time, so stay tuned. I did sign up for it. The Creality new K1C machine will feature a clog-free, it says all metal extruder kit. So I believe the K1 and K1 Max is not all metal extruder. It will feature 600 millimeters per second max printing speed same with the k1 and k1 max support carbon fiber filament i'm not quite sure because my k1 max can print carbon fiber filament with ease as you can see <laughs> this is pla carbon fiber and the k1 max printed perfectly this is my snake battery holder I'm not quite sure why they would make a new printer just for printing carbon fiber. But that's not the point I guess. I guess it will print better with less stringy and better quality. Pre-order will enjoy the exclusive benefit of 5%. So basically, let's say the printer costs about $599. 5% of that will be $30 off, which is very nice. That's a $30 you can buy a filament with it which is very nice. You also get a chance to win a K1C in the giveaway. Let's say you uh, pre-order this, you got one, and then you win the giveaway of another K1C, you will get two K1C, which is very nice. One or one year free Cloud Creality membership, which is nice. Let's go down. K1C is coming, shipping of speed and skills, suitable for carbon fiber 3D printing. Nice. Clock free, all metal extruder. Oh, that's the same information as up here. Okay, let's go down here. Um, this thing is optional. Um, what is that thing though? Let's go down more. Pre order to get these benefits. Okay, here we go. This is what I want to get to K1 series comparison, like this, so that you can see everything. Let's take a look at the build volume. Build volume for the K1C is 220 by 220 by 250 millimeter. Same with the K1. The K1 Max is 300 by 300 by 300, which is amazing. I love the K1 Max. The build volume is perfect. Product dimension 355 by 355 by 482. So it's a little bit taller than the K1. The K1 is 355, 355, 480. It's a little bit teeny tiny taller by 2 millimeters. I guess that's the clearance for the bolted tube and all of the connections at the very top. This is the biggest change or the biggest plus to the K1C. K1C stands for Creality One Carbon. The C stands for carbon. So it will be able to print PLA carbon fiber, PA carbon fiber, and PETG carbon fiber, which is a very nice touch. You get a wider of filament to print from. I really want to get one of these K1C on my hand so that I can properly test the K1C with the K1 Max, how it compares with printing carbon fiber like this one. Prints it so nicely. Feature a PI flexible build plate, which is amazing. The heated bed temperature is 100, nozzle temperature is 300, same with the K1 and K1 Max. The nozzle will feature a tri metal nozzle integrated which is really cool name tri metal that's that's really really cool the kit one is a copper and then the k max has a hardened steel which i found it was it was hardened steel the nozzle was not the hardened steel but the very tip was printing that is hardened steel which is very nice printing speed is 300 millimeters per second same with the k1 k1 max max speed is 600 max acceleration is 20,000. they also feature the same touch screen display as the k1 and k1 max which is nice but it had all metal direct drive extruder which is so good i think it will print more amazing it will extrude a lot nicer overall just a better extruder than the dual gear direct drive all metal direct drive is really much better but 
not quite sure how much better is it like i said i don't have the k1c yet i really want to get my hand on one of these to test out all of these new change and compare to my k1 max and see how different it's gonna print in the quality the speed and everything which is gonna be so good it will feature ai camera air purifier and sleep mode that's huge most of the time let's say when i do like a five hour printing and i do it overnight it will get done around three or four in the morning and then it got like six hours of just resting there or just running sleep mode it's very amazing so those five hours if it goes to sleep automatically then it will just be really really good because you're saving power you're saving electricity you're saving all the parts in the printer to reduce the wear by a whole bunch which is very nice i hope that the sleep mode is a software feature and not like a hardware feature where they can integrate it into the k1 and k1 max in the future with firmware update but we will have to wait and see now let's take a look at this oh it's a filament dryer at first i thought it was gonna be like a ams system by the look at this top picture up here it looks like they have two filament inside of it so as you can see there right it has two filament inside of it at first i thought it was a ams system it has two filament in there and you can do color change or filament change during your print that if that was a dual color change box ams system that will be amazing okay i'll put myself up in this corner better performance with creality space pie filament dryer i feel like all filament dryer are really similar but maybe they have different as you can see here it says that the material is pla carbon fiber you can set your temperature it gives you all of the detail you can go up and down it has a time limit so that is very nice let's take a look at this ptc 360 hot air heating amazing adjustable temperature from 45c all the way to 70c nice so that you don't go over 100 or something like that and melt or soften your pla real-time humidity and temperature monitoring that is huge drying time setting from 0 to 48 hours that is huge if, if you're doing like a long long print like 48 hours long print you want to set that to 48 hours to get the best performance in your printing some filament box dryer out there they just go for like an hour or so and then they just shut off you gotta press the filament box dryer again to reset it i want myself one of these two it looks amazing but from the picture up here it looks like there's it looks like this one is a little bit bigger it features two filament in there but this one down here only features one filament so i guess maybe there's two box two choice you can pick from it would be great if that was a color change system one key setting for 12 filaments amazing perform betters in hyper pla carbon fiber uh, it will be matte finish minimum layer texture print speed up to 300 more powerful mechanical properties unleash creativity with carbon filaments amazing carbon fiber filament does look really really cool and the finish is very amazing so the terms and conditions one you get five percent discount for early birds if you sign up and you pre-order it secure your purchase during pre-order and join five percent off you will be entering the k1c giveaway when you pre-order one let's say you buy one and you won you got two which is so good you get two for the price of one and or i think you might get a one year credit cloud membership i'm not sure if that's for everybody who pre-order or is it just like a couple of people that get it or into the giveaway and there's no review yet but oh yeah i am excited for this k1c uh I wish I wish I can get my hands on one of these K1C and the filament dry box. I would do so much printing comparing with the KMAX and really really see if it's really worth it. But that is pretty much it with this K1C early review on Creality webpage. I am excited. Hopefully I will be able to get one of these either from Creality or either from their giveaway in Creality Cloud or some sort of way. but thank you so much for watching today's video more videos like this will be coming more news will be coming more printing will be coming more project will be coming in the future so 
if you don't want to miss anything related to 3d printing and in the industry subscribe to the channel consider sharing it join my patreon for exclusive amazing features that i got one thing in there <laughs> but that'll be it for today's video i'll see you next time and as always keep on printing